what is going on world and welcome back to another video where I respond to your YouTube comments now I apologize for this video I am running a little late today I have about 35 minutes before I have to be at a haircut so I'm sitting here eating some um, Tim Hortons I broke my fast it was only about a 12 hour fast if you guys are interested I'm doing a whole day today video on this day as well as the next couple days to show you how my body weight fluctuates with intermittent fasting so if you guys are interested that video will pop up at the top of your screen right where is it gonna be right here and you can also find it in the description box below but as I said there as I'm gonna read and plan out what I'm gonna say I'm gonna be munching on some food here so I'm sorry if the scenes kind of change or there's food in my mouth or I'm gonna do my best here I apologize world but this um, YouTube comment comes from my latest day-to-day -day video called How I Broke My Fast. What do I eat while intermittent fasting? And Humongous asked, How long do you have to keep intermittent fasting for it to work? And what workouts should I do? And he put in brackets there saying, I need to lose weight and make gains. I'm new to all of this. And then they said, sorry for my dumbness. And I said, no problem, this is a great question. But just like with most things in life, life is situational. So I tried to give him a roundabout answer because you know he said he's new to all of this. So I have a basic understanding of where he's coming from. He's never done intermittent fasting before or never experimented with it. So like a newbie what's gonna happen to a newbie right out of the gates now this could be completely different for you know if an athlete is going to start intermittent fasting Murphy no get down get down someone who already has periods throughout the day where they are fasting for a long a long period of time because they're being physically active throughout that period so they might have three to four hours where they're not getting a lot of food into their system so it might be easier for someone but for another type of person you know who they eat six days small meals they get up they go to work they eat breakfast they on their way to work they have a snack and then they have their lunch they go up for lunch you know someone who is in a very strict lifestyle this it may take longer for the effects of intermittent fasting to take hold so when I explain this to him I want you guys to understand that this is situational it may take longer for you it may be shorter for you it all depends on your life and your life situation but this is what I said I said it all depends on your goals but intermittent fasting will help your body to achieve the results within just a few days in terms of fat loss so if your main goal is just to, you know, cut some fat off your body, help yourself make some muscle gains, and then at the same time to help alleviate your lifestyle, make your, your typical day-to-day -day a lot easier, then the effects of intermittent fasting, as I said there, can occur within just a few days. After three to four days of doing intermittent fasting very strictly, you will start to see changes on your body in the mirror. You might even see it on the body weight scale, even though that one I try to tell people not to get too involved with your body weight on the scale because as I'm displaying in this video that I'm recording right now is that your body weight fluctuates a lot with intermittent fasting, especially if you have a deficit day compared to a surplus day or like how I'm doing today, I have a cheat day. So tomorrow my body weight is going to be a lot higher on the scale than it was this morning. But if your goal is only to cut fat, you will see that within three to five days. That's what I like to, to tell people is that you will start to see the changes on your body. Now, in terms of hormonal changes and your hormonal output and increases in the body, that this could take a solid two to three weeks of being consistent with intermittent fasting for your body to actually adapt and understand what is going on with it. I find it takes until the four to five day mark for your body to understand that you are switching it from this grazing lifestyle to eating in a much smaller window. And I believe that this is when the hormonal changes start to occur. Right around that four to five day mark, your body's like, wow, it's starting to adapt to this style of eating. And that's when your body's changing its hormonal output. Is starting to adapt to it, starting to get used to it. So the hormones, your body is understanding that, okay, you know, I haven't eaten in 16 hours and this isn't starvation because I don't, I've been doing this for 
four to five days now. Your body starts to understand, it's like, okay, you know, I'm still gonna get the sufficient caloric intake, it's just gonna take a lot longer till I get to that period. So as I said, your body starts to adapt, but it takes about two to three weeks of implementing this and being strict with it for you to get the most optimal benefits. So as I said there, if you wanna see fat loss benefits, if you wanna start making gains slowly, then around the four to five day mark, that's when you're gonna start, you're gonna start seeing changes on your body. If you are strict with it, if you're methodical and you know your caloric intake and everything that, that goes behind the scenes of it. But if you wanna see hormonal changes, if you want your skin to clear up, if you wanna feel better in the morning when you wake up, if you wanna have your energy levels increased, that could take about to the two to three week mark. But that is also another benefit behind it that it shows that if you push yourself, if you manage to do this type of a lifestyle, if you manage to implement this into your life, that in less than a month, you can be feeling better. Your energy levels can be better. You can be more mentally active. You can be more involved in life. And you can be in control of your life because you are eating in this style that puts the control into your hands. You're not constantly like, oh shit, I just woke up, I have to eat. Oh, oh, two hours later, I have to eat because I might lose muscle. So to answer your question there, humongous, that how long do you have to keep intermittent fasting for it to work? Again, it all depends on your goals. But if you wanna see the ultimate changes, if you wanna see the most optimal benefits, give it about two to three weeks of solid, strict intermittent fasting. Make sure you're learning. Push the window slowly each day. Make it smaller, make it smaller. And learn from your body. Try to learn from it and understand that, okay, now I'm 18 hours fasted. This is how my energy levels feel when I'm 18 hours fasted and from the food that I ate the day before. Now today, I'm gonna eat some different food and I'm gonna try it at 18 hours fasted. Sorry, Murphy's smelling all the food here. He's getting interested, back up. But that's basically it. So to get intermittent fasting involved into your life, to implement it into your life, and to have it work in a way that it's providing benefits to you, within three to five days, you can start seeing fat loss results. And then within two to three weeks, you can start getting that optimal hormones pumping and running through your body. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here, maybe you learned something today, make sure you go hit that like button, and of course, leave me a comment. I am the Hungarian experiment. And this is Murphy.